Ahi, oh yeah, baby. Welcome to Shambox Cajun Kitchen. Hot day. Hey, look, not wearing no apron because it's just too damn hot, shy. Let me tell you what I'm making today. My little table's empty, you know. I'm going to fill it up shortly. Though. Today, I'll be making me some boudin burgers. This is something the kids ordered special. We want boudin burgers. Well, I haven't made that in a few years, so I'm going to go ahead and make them. I'm going to show you what's going on. And they're smoked boudin burgers, by the way. And I'm also going to make some smoked parmesan tomatoes. But hey, uh, that one there, that's, you know, I'll make them for you, but I got you know, no reply on anything on that one there. Anyway, I got to get the sweat out my eyes and get this baby started. Got to light one of my little pits. We're not going to do a great big pit because it's just a small deal here, shall I? I'm only doing that and I'm going to go ahead, you know, clean my little pit up and put on my little, my little boudin burgers and just let them go, let them do their thing. Now, once I make these, the kids have an option. Number one, option one, option one. First thing they can do, put it all above. And it's a little crunchy. They'll do that. Some of them, like little Bobo, little Bobo, he likes he just to hold it in his hand and eat it, shy. Man, it's about 105 degrees, and I can see my slits just calling me. Come, Daddy, come, Daddy, come to me, Daddy. I'm coming, baby, I'm coming. Let's get this thing going. All right. <laughs> first things first. Got to get one of my babies open here. My little sweats in my eyes. Ah, dang. Now one thing I got to do is clean my grill a little bit. I got a little piece of sausage that I usually use to kind of get my grill ready, you know? Boy, that damn thing hot! Hot! I like to let some of that smoke sausage fall on them hot, hot coals, you know? There's a little smoke going here. First thing you're going to need, I'm going to get these tomatoes out the way because I'm not really concentrating on the tomatoes. I'm concentrating more on the smoked boudin. Boudin burgers. But as you can see, I cut this tomato in half. Right, just like that. It's got a little time. Put a little time on there. Just a little bit. Come here, boy. Give me a little salt. Now, you can use the thyme if you want, or you don't have to. It's up to you. And this is simple. I'm not doing nothing special. This is just something for me to drink beer with. And I got a few buddies coming by, you know. You know how it is when your friends come around. I think I got Greg from Canada coming in here. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Parmesan cheese. Got to put a little Parmesan. Ooh, Lord, it. Damn, that's good. And that's it for them tomatoes. Now, right now, we're going to make a boudin burger. Smoked boudin burgers. I don't need any time. Number one, you have to realize I don't want to change the flavor of my boudin. Not at all. The boudin is excellent. This comes from Bill's. B.O.'s store over in uh, Broussard, Louisiana. That's B.O.'s. He loves Boudin. And it's awesome. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and take this link. There you go. I want to take it out of this little casing. I don't need a hog casing on that. Why? Because the kids want a bigger. I'm going to kind of split this up a little bit. Okay, you see all the rice and everything? That's all good. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm loving it. Now I've got a one-third of a cup of plain breadcrumbs. I said I don't want to change the flavor of my boudin burger, and the reason is I like the boudin the way it is. I like the flavor. Then this breadcrumbs here, it's not Italian. It's plain, so the flavor should stay the same. And I just throw it on there and kind of mix it up real good. Because what I'm looking for is something to hold it together. If you don't have something to hold it together, then guess what? You don't have a burger, Shaq. Now I got an option. I could put a little bit of beer in there or I can put a little bit of water. I've got a third cup of water. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to put the whole thing. Now that's going to mix with that bread. Oh yeah. And it's going to mix up real good with that rice and all. And that's going to hold good. And I'm not adding nothing else in there. Baby boy, look, when they put that boudin together, they put a lot of spices in there. And that's what's going to make it great. You might hear some music in this video. The reason is I got dogs and I got airplanes and I got parrots and I got everything under the sun. Lawn mowers and everything cutting grass today. All right, here I go. All right. These two I put on earlier. They're doing their thing. This is fresh. I'm going to leave it alone. That's that little piece of sausage right here that I'd use to clean my grill. Yep, I don't need it, so it's going to go in there. These here I put on earlier. These little tomatoes, these first two. Now they're starting to do their thing. They're starting to give me a little melt. Yeah. And I'm going to shut this puppy down. Whoa, turn over, boy. Turn over. It's time. Right. Let's see what's going on. burgers here, these first two, they're about done. I'm going to put those on top. I don't want them to... Hey boy, they're doing their thing. Sausage going great. Look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Close that up. Got to get me another cold one, baby. Got to get me another cold one. That that's, that's a two, a two beer uh, afternoon. Damn, that's bad stuff. It, damn! La 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 la. Hey, 
you know, let me tell you something. The more fat you got in your boudin, better off it is if you make a boudin burger. Well, that's the better it is. It does just fry a little bit harder, Jack. Okay? If you don't have much fat on there, then, uh, you know, it ain't gonna cut it. These are going good, though. Let me tell you now, they're going good. I have to leave it open a while so I can get more heat. It's just about done. can play with this. See, I got a little piece of smoke science that you're going to put right on top. And you can play with this stuff, you know what I mean? Time to pull them off. You can hear. Hear that booty? Perfect for a burger. So, this is it, yeah? This is what you end up with. I love these tomatoes, by the way. See if you can hear that crunch. Damn, that's good. Kids, we're coming. I'm coming. Hey, this is Chef Buck. Talk to you later. Aye, oh, yeah, baby. Have a good day, baby. And look, don't let the sweat pile up in your eyes.